Okay. I'm in the van. I'm on my way to the hardware store to, to hopefully conclude the epic of the sink cabinet. So the story goes that we, we pulled the sink that was here out and I wanted to get a pre-made cabinet, something simple, as long as it's sturdy enough to survive in the van. Buy it, throw it in here, anchor it down, and then start building other pieces from there. So as I was at Home Depot, I was looking at their pre-made cabinets. I saw an unfinished one that was cheap and sturdy, and I liked it, and I thought, oh, well, this is nice. I'll think about it, and maybe I'll come back tomorrow. I thought about it overnight, and I decided, yeah, I do want that cabinet. It's a simple solution to the problem. So I went into Home Depot. <laughs> of course it was gone. Somebody bought it. So then I, I, I got on the website and I ordered one, and it said it'll be there in five days. Then it wasn't there in five days, and I, I checked the website again, and it said, oh, a week and a half. What we meant to say was a week and a half. So then I waited the ten days. <laughs> <laughs> and then I called, oops, I called, uh, I called Home Depot and the guy that answered the phone was the pimply faced teen from the Simpsons. And he said, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> it's on a truck in Baltimore. <laughs> I said, all right. So when's it going to get here? And he's like, I don't know, maybe Monday. <laughs> so now it's Thursday. This morning, I finally got a call from Home Depot, and they said, Your cabinet is in, it's damaged, and we're sending it back. Would you like to order another one? I said, No. No, thanks. I'm all set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and I'm going to buy the finished version of the unfinished cabinet that I ordered. Um, they, every time I go, they have the finished ones. They're ugly. The finish is not uh, attractive. Um, but I'll deal with it. We'll just deal with it. I'm just going to see, hopefully they have the white one. I'll just buy a white cabinet, throw it in back here, and then this weekend we can anchor it down, install the water pump, install the sink, install the stovetop. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm going to take you on this journey with me. Retail is in a sorry state in, uh, in Bangor, Maine. There's a lot of signs that are half out. And nobody's... Uh, Nobody's fixing them. So here I am. Over here is the uh, the Home Depot. Oh, I can't see anything. Sorry. But then across the way is the doll drawer. Hmm. I grabbed a handcart from the parking lot. You know, the cold parking lot. It is. <laughs> if you have never worked with uh, below freezing metal before, it's uh, it's an experience. Oh, oh God. Okay, I was a little nervous. Uh, I thought for a minute they weren't gonna have it, but let me show you. There it is, 36 inch wide base cabinet for a sink or a stovetop. Boom, that's where we're at. Now I just need to pull that one out from back there and get it over onto the cart. And we're done. That wasn't too bad. It's not super heavy. I'm a big boy. So now the sink is on the cold cart. That's your new name, buddy, cold cart. And when I looked at the back, check it out, it already has holes for me to anchor. So now I can use these to anchor the cabinet to the van. How cool is that? Okay, now I need to rustle up a Home Depot employee to help me get it into the van. Hey, I realized I, I need to buy handles for the doors. I bought a cabinet. It's got to have handles. So one of the things that drives me nuts is, you, you all know I wear these headphones everywhere all the time, and this, this wire gets caught on everything, and it drives me nuts, and I should maybe switch over to Bluetooth, but Bluetooth kind of drives me nuts too. So. No good solution, but what I can do, there we go, let's see, is I can get door handles that are smooth. You can't get caught on that. That wire can't get caught on that. Look, look, I'm gonna try. See, there's no getting caught. This, oh, oops, 
Ooh, it's caught. Now the now the headphones get jerked right off my head. But over here, look at that. So I gotta find something that's that shape so that I'm not walking through my van and losing my headphones every 30 seconds. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I need a bottle opener? I could mount that bad boy right to the van. Bloop, bloop, open up a cold one. Not while I'm driving, but uh, yeah, 398. Uh, actually, on second thought, never mind. They are sold out. What's that? During the pandemic, they're sold out of wall-mounted bottle openers? Huh. Ah, uh, never mind. I went a little further down the aisle, and I found a whole bin full of them. These ones are nickel-plated. Nickel? Pla I don't know. They're silvery. They're not the, they don't look like iron. I think I'm gonna get one. Well, I gotta be honest with you, when I got home I was real tired. Um, I spent about two hours a day driving to the hardware store and buying stuff and driving back for two weeks, three weeks, I don't know. Anyway, I decided to reward myself tonight for making it home with this. Uh, it's two bacon and egg croissants breakfast sandwiches at 8 p.m. <laughs> and an avocado. All right, thanks everybody. I'll see you soon.